Vince is backstage alone in his dressing room. Got the 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 dark khakis and the Hawaiian shirt look going, and he's very sad. Very, very sad. So Steve and Deborah Austin arrive with a, a pile of presents. They brought gifts. They want to cheer him up. And Vince is talking about, I don't want to be cheered up. I was humiliated on Raw. He's disgusted. He says, my pants were around my ankles. There's something about his delivery <laughs> for virtually everything that he said on this show. I was going to say, yes. So Austin's trying to make him feel better about everything, and Deborah's getting more and more disgusted. And finally she says, you know, Mr. McMahon, I think you got exactly what you deserved. And there's a pause, and Steve says, No, he did not deserve this. And Vince agrees that he did not deserve this. He most certainly didn't deserve this. That's when Austin busts out the two presents. Yes. He says, I got you a present, Vince. Hands him a big-ass box. And I was in the given mood. I bought myself a gift, too. And Vince is surprised. And says, well, should we open them? Austin says, let's open them together. And they set him down on the couch. And they opened the lids, and Austin got himself and Vince McMahon matching white cowboy hats. And Vince McMahon is so happy <laughs> to have a cowboy hat. Mm-hmm. And they're like got, they're... genuinely happy. Yes, yeah. this is not. It's not, not even like you know Steve Austin has done something, and so he's being nice to Steve Austin. No, like, his whole mood yes. turned around after he was given a cowboy hat. And Steve made sure to buy them both white hats because in his mind, they're both good guys. That's right. And they try these hats on and make sure they fit and make sure they're curved right. And Angle, of course, arrives, points out they have matching hats. And then he says, wait a minute. I didn't get a gift. (laughs) And Austin says, oh, don't you worry. I got you a gift, you rascal. Okay, so stop right there. These guys, I mean, I don't know how many times we've had to mention this, but these are the three greatest guys I ever saw, okay? Yep. Like, and Deborah's great as well, but everybody's reaction to everybody else. Kurt Angle is, he's actually maybe the best of all three of them, but they're all great in different ways. So he's all sad about his gift, and Angle produces a box, and of course... Steve Austin got a hat for himself and a matching hat for Vince, and so there's another large box, and so you presume, well, must be an equally large matching hat for Kurt Angle. Now, if you've been watching this, if you're one of the normal WWE crowd that's over 50, you remember this like it was yesterday. Kurt Angle opens up the box, and it's a little tiny kid's toy cowboy hat. Mm -hmm. Now, I remember all of this, But I'm watching it again 20 years later, and it's actually even better. Because he opens up this gift. It's a children's cowboy hat. And he is so excited to get it, okay? But that's not even the best part. The best part is he's so excited to get this hat. He puts the hat on his head. He's got this big fucking smile. He looks like a goddamn idiot. And Stone Cold Steve Austin, the guy who got him this kid's hat as a rib, sees Kurt in the hat and he's fucking disgusted. (laughs) Even though he's the guy who got the hat for the guy to humiliate him, when he actually sees the hat on the guy's head, he is Filled with contempt. I died. I died. And there's like 25 even better segments coming. There's a lot of awesome. They're Vince not even the singing yet. No. This is not the show where they do the concert. No. no. But when Austin gave him a shitty gift on purpose and was still disgusted when he put it on, I died. And it wasn't even that the hat was too small. It came with a drawstring that tucked up underneath his chin. Yes. That made it all the more funny. Yes. So, so, so two things here. Uh, Vince and Angle's reaction to these cowboys, cowboy hats was so off the charts great that I would believe that they didn't know they were getting these hats going in. And this is like a, an honest to God surprise gift Austin got them, except 
When Angle gets his box, and he sits down on the couch, it's framed perfectly. Austin and Vince step together to yes. block the view of Angle. Yes. Then when he's got the hat on, then they step apart and he stands up for the big reveal. So clearly that was all blocked out that way. And it was genius. Whoever put that skit together, well done, well done. Dude, I need to know who put all this shit together because this is... It, it, if I find out it's fucking Vince, I'm just going to really <laughs> start crying because he can't do anything this good nowadays. So the, the big payoff is Angle stands up. He's got this dorky little red hat on a chin strap under him like he's eight years old, but he feels proud. He's proud of his hat. And Austin is trying to play along. He just tells him, you look great. And Kurt says, <laughs> I feel great. And this is then followed by the longest awkward pause in the history of long, awkward WWF slash WWE pauses. The camera's just on them forever and ever and ever. And Angle is looking at Steve and smiling. But after like eight seconds, his eyes start to dart back and forth around the room waiting for a cut or something. <laughs> That's when I died. That's when I lost it. This segment was awesome. And there's like 18 more. Mm-hmm. If you love these video clips, head down there to the bottom right-hand side of the screen and click Join. For just $7.99 per month, you get full access to all of the episodes. Over 300 at current count. Full-length episodes of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, and Figure Four Daily with both Lance Storm and Filthy Tom Lawler. You can also hit that subscribe button, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows are available.